Tonight, a new push from protesters hoping to stop the construction of Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Savannah Levins in for Faith Jesse. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. The protesters believe that that power rests with the people. And despite a city council vote on Tuesday to further fund the project, protesters are now hoping to take the issue to the ballot box this fall. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is live at City Hall. And Joe, it doesn't seem like protesters are giving up this fight anytime soon. No, they're not. And we've heard this time and time again, especially since city council's vote on Tuesday approving city funding for the public safety training center. Protesters are going to keep fighting this, fighting the construction to try and uh, block this construction of the public safety training center. That next step in their fight could include half a million Atlantans having their say on the issue. Stop Cop City! The chants ring out. Stop Cop City! The voice is clear from those opposed to Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center. Today we are here to let the people decide. After City Council passed a vote Tuesday approving millions in funding for the project, protesters now hope to take their voices to the ballot box to try and block construction of the new facility in Southern DeKalb County. When we know that they're not representing the people, we know that we have to go over their heads and take it to the people themselves. So we've been preparing this. We're ready for this fight. Approved petition form. Organizers filed a referendum petition with the city clerk's office. They expect approval in the next week. Then they say they will have 60 days to get around 70,000 signatures from Atlanta residents who voted in the last city election. City council would then have 50 days to sign off on the petition and validate the signatures. Even though there was intense and energetic protest here today, there are half a million opinions in Atlanta. Atlanta City Councilman Michael Julian Bond voted for the funding, which has Atlanta paying at least $67 million for the project over the next 30 years. If the referendum process is successful, all registered Atlanta voters could vote on the measure in November. Whatever scenario winds up in four months, six months, two years, if we don't build something now, we still have the obligation to do it. Protesters plan on canvassing neighborhoods, passing out these petitions at music festivals and other events, all for an issue they call a battle for the city of Atlanta. But Atlantans don't want a cop city. They want policing alternatives and diversion. They want health care facilities in their community that are accessible. And they want mental health and addiction services. And we know this vote on Tuesday approving funding for the Public Safety Training Center came with some concessions, a sign that city council members heard some of the concerns from protesters. Even still, though, for those opposed to this project altogether, do not want to see it built. Well, they say they are considering filing for an injunction to try and block construction that was set to pick up this summer. Uh, we'll see how that goes as they start to collect signatures as early as next week. All right, Joe, thanks for that new information tonight.